Hey, badass business owners, welcome back to the show. And today I wanna to talk about something that I find a lot of us really struggle with, myself included. And matter of fact, what I'm gonna be talking about is actually happening right now. Let me explain. One of the things that I think holds back a lot of small business owners is their failure to be able to embrace change. And change happens all the time. You don't do your business today like you did your business last week, last month, last year, or whenever the case may be. It changes and you have to change as well. However, there are some people that are stuck in their ways and for whatever reason, do not wanna make change. And without making that change, you're never going to be able to take your business to that next level. Matter of fact, there's something that I've been meaning to change and I just would not do it. I wouldn't do it forever. And matter of fact, I've been doing this podcast now for what, five, six years. And this is the very first time you're seeing my face as I do a podcast, if you're watching this on YouTube. I did not wanna be on camera, there's no way. Matter of fact, I'm doing this from my secondary office, not where I normally record. And you can tell I have not fixed the background, I haven't done anything else. I just made the decision to take the microphone that I have here that's been sitting behind me for months, and I mean months, and just pull it out and plug it in and work on this video. And I already knew I was gonna be talking about change, so I thought to myself, what a better way to start this off than me emulating exactly what I'm talking about. You see, as business owners, we have all kinds of fears. Sometimes we don't wanna change because we think we know it all. Sometimes we have a fear that we're gonna look silly. <laughs> right now, I think I look silly. Um, there's a fear of people won't accept us the same if they see us. For example, me being on camera, some of you guys um, like to be behind the scenes, especially if you're an introvert like I am, the last thing you wanna do is put yourself out there. But some of the other change that I see all of the time with small business owners is they don't, they don't think their business is broken, so why change? Your business doesn't have to be broken for you to make change. Matter of fact, the worst time for you to start all of a sudden thinking about change is when things are broken. No, you definitely need to make the change, but let me explain. You don't wanna wait that long. That's exactly what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna be waiting until the last moment to do that change. Your business needs to have new ideas. You need to be thinking of new things. You need to be looking at how other people do things and some of the tweaks and stuff they do in their business and go, wow, can I implement that into my business? Some of you don't ever do your business numbers because once again, it's change. You might find out that you have to do business different than what you've done before. I've sat across in this very office from people and have conversations with people on Zoom and same thing, we talk about their numbers, they'll nod their head, they'll say, yes, I know I need to do this, I get it, I need to make a change. And yet they go back to their old habits. They don't make the change. Sometimes change is hard, sometimes it's not easy, but your whole business is all about navigating the different things and change that you need to do. For example, right now we're in this recession. Is it going into a recession? Is it in a recession? What recession? Here's what happens. If you don't pivot your business to fix what it is that you're doing today to be able to make sure that you can be ready for any changes that are coming. An example I use all the time is with plumbers. If I'm a plumber and I install water heaters, guess what? Whether it's a recession or not, people's water heaters break and they've gotta be able to get it taken care of. However, if I'm a plumber and I specialize in bathroom remodels or kitchen remodels, during a recession, people are less likely to need those services, right? You're not gonna have as many people wanting it. Not saying that there isn't anybody, but it's gonna go down. You need to be able to pivot your business to say, okay, I need to find ways to continue to make money until the market picks back up, in which case you may have to go back to water heater installs or you know whatever it is that you wanna do. Same thing with your business. You have to be able to pivot and you have to be able to change. You know, I have a sign right behind me. I'm not sure where it's at. I think it's right, right above my head now. And it talks about learning, that you can take in all the learning in the world, but if you're not implementing it and you're not changing and you're not trying new things, you're not gonna grow your business. You're not going to get better at different things. My whole point of what I wanna to try to get across today is if you wanna grow your business, if you wanna have a different business, a better business, stop being closed off to change. You know a lot, you're right. Nobody else probably knows more about your business than you do, but here's what you don't understand. If you don't open yourself up to change, you're going to handicap your business and you're gonna hold it back because you don't even know what it is that you can accomplish. Me getting on video right now, I know I can continue to do the podcast the way I'm doing it. I know I could turn around and put them on YouTube just the way it is, but I wanna connect with you guys more and I need to get past 
and, and change, if you will, some of the hangups that I have on my end to not get in front of you guys, because I know how much more impactful it can be if you can see my passion and that I really do care about you guys and your business. And I really want you guys to take it to the next level. Yes, there's a lot of things I'm going to have to do to make it better, right? I'm going to have to fix up this background behind me. I'm going to have to get past my insecurities about being on camera and that I may not look the way that you think I should look, but that's all coming down to change. And what has to happen is we have to realize that there is more out there. We don't know everything. You don't know everything in your business. There's things right now that I'll bet you, if you sit back, you say, you know what? Yeah, there's something I need to change in my business. And I've been putting it off. I haven't been doing it. You know, it goes back to what we were talking about last week with being in a funk. You know, sometimes that funk comes because we know we have to make change and we don't want to make it and we're not inspired. But I'll tell you that once you start making the changes and you start doing things a little bit differently, you're going to find your inspiration kind of comes back a little bit because you're going to be excited about a part of your business that you haven't been excited about in a really long time. If you pivot and change your business because you're struggling and you realize that the path you're going down now isn't the best path for your business, and all of a sudden you say, you know what, I'm going to stop doing these products, these services, these whatever, and I'm going to pivot change and start doing these things because I need to make a change in the business, then you're going to find what happens is you start finding passion again for that particular thing. You stop putting it off. You start finding some enjoyment once again in what it is that you want to do. Now, I'm not going to make this a long drawn out one. It's just one of those things where I wanted to put myself out there to show I'm going to emulate change in my business. And I don't know what the future is going to look like for those of you that watch this on YouTube, but I'm going to try to get in front of the camera more often. I'm going to try to take these podcast episodes and make them where there's a video that's attached to it. I'm going to get better at it. I know the video probably will not sync up with the audio as well as it should. And it's going to look funny in the beginning until I get this part down. But I don't care because I know I need it to be able to grow our tribe, to get the message out to more people of what we want to do, to have these profitable businesses that each and every one of you guys are doing. And Hopefully it'll also improve the podcast every single week because I'm going to be able to show more of that passion on these different topics and I can cover some more topics that I've probably been a little bit hesitant to because they don't play well on YouTube at the same time. And since you guys kind of half watch on the podcast and half watch on YouTube, I'm like, how do I find a happy medium in between? And this is one of the main reasons why I started doing this. So just do me a favor. Think of one thing in your business that you can pivot, that you can change, that you can do that's going to help you take your business to that next level, or at least start to grow and start to try new things. Whether it's diving into an area that you've been putting off, maybe it's listening to some of your competitors and seeing what they do and, and what they can do better, um, whatever that may be. Uh, just think of something and just implement one small change in your business and see how it has an impact. And let me know in the comments if you have made a change and you're finding something. And I look forward to uh, trying to do this a little bit more often face to face. And for those of you guys on the podcast, I'm going to continue to give you the great info that I've been hopefully been providing you all along, because that's the main mission of this is to help you guys all run your business. So um, if you're watching on YouTube, watch some of these other videos that pop up and I'll get better at this piece. And for those of you listening, I will talk to you on the next episode. See you next week. Bye for now.